here's my problem with something that runs and drives. What do you think happens if the steering gets a little loose? Or the rear axle starts to squeak? Now, a normal person goes to a shop and is like, please, go fix it. They tell these parts are broken, you say yes, they fix it, you drive home. Now, in my case, I am the shop. So, as soon as I have a problem, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to dismantle it just about as far as I can reasonably do. So, no way I twist this is it going to be any less work with a car that runs and drives. I only have more upfront cost for a car that supposedly works. Which is my weird way of justification for going a bit overboard again. All that is to say, hello and welcome to the Peugeot 205 GTI restoration part two. I forgot the drive shafts. Uh, here. This is all the parts for the Peugeot that I have today. But this is not everything I ordered. Or as I'd like to call it, a small service. This is the rear beam axle, and I'm gonna take it apart. So this is the rear carrier tube, and these are the trailing arms, either side, which are obviously mounted like that, um, which are sprung by these torsion bars, which twist from either end of the tube all the way down to the trailing arm. This is the anti-roll bar, which makes you know the wheels go with each other, and it's sitting inside of the tube. On the 944924 platform, the, tr the, the sway bar is on the outside and the torsion bars are fitted to the inside of the tube, which, fair and square, I think is a better solution. And these run on needle bearings, which sit inside of here and in the trailing arm. 
Now the problem, and the reason why I thought it would be a good idea to overhaul this axle, is this. These wear when the bearings are shot. And this is exactly what happened here. This is a deep, deep imprint of the bearing rollers that haven't done their job anymore. Yeah, so this is what I'm left with after a bit of cleanup. And now there's loads more cleanup. Although this is not a whole lot of parts and obviously it's missing all the bolts and fasteners and everything that actually holds the wheel. I'm going off to cleaning. One thing people tend to forget with this, it's looking very simple, but nearly all of the parts are handed and need to go in a very specific location with a very specific orientation or else this thing will not work. Same for the bearings. I got a manual. I'm gonna, you know, make it work. Okay, given I don't have the special tool, I insert this. So that I have the exact distance here for the bracket and the ceiling ring. Push it in a bit further and then pull it out and see where the mark is. And that is usually where the ceiling ring is, so I'm well within the operating range of this. Nice. So from the outside of the bearing to the outside of the sleeve is 19.7.
thank goodness I bought this as a table leg five years ago. And all of this chaos, all of it, because of that rear axle. I know. I'm well aware that isn't the finished rear axle, it's a partially restored axle in pieces. And the reason for that is, I'm doing this for the first time. I stumbled upon a roadblock and a couple of missing gaskets that I don't have, so... Rather than trying to make this about one topic at a time, which would drag this out forever, I just decided it's nice as it is. And truth be told, given that I was able to salvage the original paint on those components despite the underseal, I think it's really beautifully looking. Also, I have to say I love this project. There was so much response from people all across whichever channel or in person they encountered this and so many stories to be told about a 205 GTI, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. Because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And now I'm part of way too many Facebook groups. And, uh, well, I've read half the workshop manual already. <laughs> I also decided that this is no longer a two-week project and while I wanted to, to be part of the Uncut series, I'm having way too much fun filming these. So they have long surpassed the quick and dirty standard that I tried to keep up. So um, these are now part of the regular episodes. Also in part because I don't think I'm gonna get the Porsche finished this year and I need something to film a season finale with. And apparently it's this. Uh, one more thing, uh, somebody commented that they really liked the post credit scenes and you really didn't think I would only go through like half an axle within a whole week. So this is the post credit scene, which is uh, tires, front suspension and brake calipers. Enjoy.
And here we have one such caliper. And I think they turned out really rather nice. And with that, we have truly reached the end.